Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men, he has broken the gates of brass and put the gates of iron asunder. He has broken the gates of brass and put the bars of iron asunder. Peace and blessing. Shalom, shalom. God bless you all. Shalom alaikum. Salam alaikum. Peace upon you all. Oh, this morning, Psalm 107. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let's read a few of 107. It's an amazing psalm. I mean, the psalms are wonderful and are loaded. It's beautiful. It's a long psalm, but it's, let's see how far we read. 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gather them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness, in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by their right way, that they might go to a city of habitation on that man would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he satisfied the longing of the soul and filled the hungry with goodness such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction of iron because they rebelled against the word of god and condemned the counsel of the most high and contempt the counsel of the most high Therefore, he brought down their hearts with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. I'll do 107, 1 to 20. We're on the 17 now. So let's see. Verse 13. He said, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and saved him out of their distresses. He brought them forth out of darkness and the shadows of death and break their bands in ascender. Oh, that man who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron ascender. Oh, oh, that man who praise the Lord. Oh, that man who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the goodness of men, to the goodness of men, he has broken the gates of brass and put the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gates of brass. And put the bars of iron asunder. Oh, that man who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men, to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and put the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gates of brass. And put the bars of iron and oh, the word of God is so lovely. Psalm 19. It says, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. But to be desired, I did go the much fine gold. Oh. Sweeter also than honey, honey, from the honeycomb. That's how sweet the word of God is. That's why you should be reading the Bible. Read the Psalms, read Genesis, read Exodus, read Leviticus, read Deuteronomy, read Revelation. Don't be scared. Read Revelation. Read the doctrines, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read the prophet, Jeremiah, Micaiah. Read the prophets. People are so scared of reading the Bible. Oh my goodness. If you are not reading the Bible, you don't know what we are missing. It's geographical, philosophical, historical, creation, the beginning of humankind. Of course, we don't know how God began, but the creation, the beginning of humankind, where we are going to end the apocalyptic. Eh? Read the Bible. Some people are asking, where are we in? What is happening? Please read the Bible. And then you can understand. Because the more you don't read the Bible, the more you get caught up and the more lost you get, 
when all these cryptic apocalyptic events are happening but if you read the bible at least you know what is going on and maybe you even even know how to call upon the lord to ask for mercy you see so let's read the bible whether you believe or not this is god well this is creation it's not only for christians the bible is actually for humankind okay yeah so read the bible resect the bible look at the historic evidences don't just say, oh it's a story it's been written please if you don't want to even believe the doctrines go to the old testament look at genesis look at exodus look at leviticus look at numbers look at deuteronomy and then you see the archaeological the historical evidence there's too much you know just read the bible put any religious caps aside and just go for reality and I pray that the Spirit of God will open your eyes. And then when you begin to understand the Old Testament, you come to the New Testament, you come to the prophet, they fall together in pieces. And it's a shame when people think, oh, the Old Testament is past. They don't understand the covenant. The Old Covenant, the New Covenant has nothing to do with the Word of God. Yeah. So what I mean is that if you ignore the Old Testament, you will not understand the New. So you have to understand the covenant of God. You have to understand the doctrinals. You have to understand the historical. You have to understand many facets of the Bible. Yeah, you have to understand the apocalypse, the apocalyptic things that will happen. You have to understand events, future events. You see, so if you just put all in religion, you limit yourself. Because the Bible, you could be studying this and having your masters of divinity. And yes, so you feel like you don't understand nothing. You need the Holy Spirit to give you interpretation because some things you can't understand with human mind but as you read and you begin to talk to god the bible will open so don't read the bible with the religious i just read it like a normal human being looking for evidences and i tell you there are some hidden secrets in there and the bible is dynamic it's not static so read the old testament read the new testament read revelation don't be scared and when you read something that you don't understand keep reading keep reading and also ask because there are people who can help you research and go deep down because some people interpret the bible to their own knowledge but you can't just take god's word like that you can have your meaning but go and see the concept yeah so start from somewhere and the holy ghost will lead you yeah, so when I'm talking about people who can guide you, not only those who are educated, some people didn't even go to school, but they have studied the Bible, they have learned under people who can teach them. So sometimes you can even have a child teaching you an adult because sometimes we want to understand the Bible with our educational point of view. But when the Holy Ghost is speaking, it's nothing to do with your degrees. So you have to learn to understand the Bible with wisdom, with knowledge, with understanding in the eyes of the Spirit of God and also seen reality because when you are encrypted in your religious denomination doctrines or values you are just you know one thing and that's it but we need to look at the broad picture and sometimes we don't get the whole broad picture so we read we study we have bible studies with others we are having discussion with others sometimes they are not even christian but they know something so things fall in place and god will lead you and guide you when you are seeking for the truth yeah and we don't need to know everything, but there are some basic things we need to know, to know why God exists and our purpose on this earth and why we have to worship him. So if you think, oh, I'm not a Christian, so I'm okay, I have this religion, that religion. Are you really saved? Are you going to make heaven? So your religion is a problem if you are not going to heaven. Okay, so whoever you are, whether you're a Christian or whatever religion you have, are you going to make heaven? And people will say, oh, I'm not perfect, but who said that you are? We never were. We fail. That is where all this chaos and confusion. So you can only be perfected in God's word, in his ways and his purposes. So you have to realign to the plans and the purposes of God. And then it is he that makes you perfect. Because when you leave God's will, it's like the branch. How can the branch survive without a vine? Or how can the branch survive without a tree? It is the tree that is rooted in the soil, having all the nutrients, the minerals, drawing the water. So the vine or the branch always have to be hooked to the tree for it to grow so that the fruits can come. The moment you plug one off, nothing is working. So as Christians, we just need that. We need the Holy Ghost constantly. We need the Word of God. We need direction, guidance, our prayers, our fasting, our help. 
And uh, if you make a mistake, rise and connect to the vine. So God didn't say that you should be perfect on your own. <laughs> Nobody, or even when they root within the perfection, sometimes we don't know. And that is why we have to keep coming to God and the Lord will lead us. And also looking at things around us that God has put around to help us. So it's not one thing. God has ways of directing us. So this is my short word of wisdom and encouragement today. Come to Jesus if you are not born again. Get ready. Jesus is coming soon. So let's be ready in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Alekem.